Hi, in this lesson, we are going to learn how to connect Google Analytics demo account to Looker Studio and build a dashboard in Looker Studio for Google Analytics data. I'm in the main page of Looker Studio. There is this option blank report plus button. I click on that to create my dashboard. The first thing, I should connect my data source to my dashboard. There are lots of options here. You can select Google Analytics, Google Ads, or if you have the, your data source in Google Sheets and all other options. If you want to connect Google Analytics demo account, you should use the same Gmail address that you used for demo account and the same Gmail address that you use for your Looker Studio account. I click on Google Analytics. Here uh, there are uh, some uh, Google Analytics accounts that I have access to. I want to select the demo account. There are three options here. Uh, the first one is flooded. The one that we want to use is Google Merge Shop. The last one is UA, Universal Anal Analytics, that is not used anymore. So we use GA4, Google Merge Shop. I select it and press Add. Now we manage to connect Google Analytics GA4 demo account to Looker Studio. By default, it creates a table. I'm going to remove that. And this is our, our can canvas, and we are going to start from the scratch. Usually, in creating Looker Studio dashboards, the first thing that I add to my dashboard is a date control. I want to add a date to my dashboard so users can select what time range they want to look at the data. Let me go to add a control here in the toolbar. There is this option date range control. I click on that and drag it somewhere on top of the page. Now here I can select what date range I want to show in my data by default. There is uh, an option to select the start date and end date, and there are these options auto date range. I can select one of them. You have many options here to show last seven days, last 14 days, last 30 days of data, this week, this month, this month to date, last month. I'm going to select last month's data for this report. So by default, anytime that I view this dashboard, it will show me last month of data. I'm going to make the size smaller. Now let's create a table. I'm going to insert. Let me find a table. Here's the table. I can select table and put it somewhere here. Make the size a little bigger. By default, it adds a dimension event name for me and a metric views. I delete both of them, remove both of them because I want to uh, use my own ones. I cannot de remove event name as a dimension, but I can change it to something else. Let's say we want to look at the data for channels, channel grouping. I click on the dimension, I search for channel. Uh, it must be this default channel group. That's correct. Referral, paid search, paid other, organic, email. Before I continue, I don't want to have these numbers here on the left. So, uh, let me see how I can remove numbers yeah i should go to the style in the chart section any chart any uh, metric that you select in your looker studio dashboard it opens this chart section it contains two uh, sections setup and style setup deals with the data the data that you want to uh, customize 
and a style deals with uh, visualization, a style of your table and metric to make it more beautiful. Uh, let me see. Okay, table body row numbers. I'm going to deselect that. I got rid of uh, row numbers. Um, going back to the setup. Now let's add some metrics. The usual metrics that we look at look at in GA4. Let's start with uh, sessions. There are so many sessions here. I use this one. And let's add another metric to our dashboard, this time users. Uh, we have many, many user metrics in GA4, active user, total user, new users, returning users. Uh, we can use total users or active users, the one that is more common. Let's see what other metrics we can use in our table. Does it have conversion? No, it doesn't. It should have key event. Recently, GA4 has changed the conversion metric to key events. So I'm selecting key events. Key events means conversions, but of course there can be so many key events defined. We really need to know what key events we want to show in our table. The next metric that we can add to our table, let's add revenue. Uh, I'm adding total revenue to my table. Now, I, if I drag these lines between each metric, I can change the size. To add just the style of our table, I go to the style. Let's see what we can change. First table color, header background color. For header, it is gray. I want to change it to blue. Going to the dimensions we have only one dimension i select the center so it shows it in the center metrics i have four metrics so here shows metric one metric two metric three for each one i select and change it to center for Key events and total revenue, I don't want to show decimals, so I will change remove decimals to zero. Uh, key events is metric three. Let me find metric three. Here is metric two. This is metric three. Decimal precision, I change it to zero. The same for metric four, which is uh, total revenue. I change it to zero. Now looks better. Now for my setup, I want to change the sort of the table based on, let's say, revenue. I select here as a sort. Instead of default channel group, I select total revenue. Now, the channel with the highest revenue shows at the top. Now, I want to add some scorecards to my table too. Scorecards are metrics, some metrics that you want to focus in your dashboard. I move my table a little down. I'm going to the uh, insert. Let me find a scorecard. Here is a scorecard. 
I select uh, one scorecard here. By default, it is sessions, uh, which is okay. I want uh, to have my session, the total session here. I go to the style, center it, metric name, metric value, and comparison. I can add a comparison to my um, scorecards too. I go to the setup. Let me find the option for comparison here. Comparison date range. I select it based on previous period. Previous period uh, means previous months because I show one month of data. The previous period means previous months. So this scorecard that shows my sessions number, the number of sessions, and the comparison to the previous period. To make it more clear, I can add a text here. Go into the insert text. I create a text box. Uh, comparison period is Comparison data is the previous period. So anybody who can look at this dashboard by reading this text, they can understand that the comparison number, this green number is pre the previous period compared to the date range of the dashboard. I can make it a little smaller. Too small, I make it 12 and italic. Let's add some more um, scorecards. I can select, I can go to the insert, create a new scorecard, or no, I can select the previous one and copy that Control C, Control V. And just go change the metric to, let's say, active users. Now I'm changing it to key events. Another scorecard. Then the next one, purchases. And the next one, revenue. Remember, uh, this I need to total revenue. I want to get rid of the decimals. I go back to a style again by selecting that. Uh, let me see where I can find the decimals. Here, the decimal precision from auto, I change it to zero. Oh no, this was for comparison period. Here, compact numbers, decimal zero. You can change this headings too. By default, it is total revenue. I just wanted to make it simpler. Just change it to revenue. I click on that and write the name that I want to show. Here the same, e-commerce purchases, too long. I just want to change it to purchases. And I do the same for this table. Default channel grouping is too long for me. I just select it, edit, and change it to channel. Now I want to add a drop down to be able to select the channels at the top. I go to add a control. I select drop down list. By default, it is default group channel, the thing that I want, but if you want, you can select any other dimension. I'm going to change the name to channel. So here you can select a specific channel. Let me get rid of this metric. Uh, I want to get rid of metric, doesn't show any metric. So channel, you can select a specific channel, let's say, uh 
organic search, when you select a, a specific channel in your drop down, it own all these scorecards and tables show only data for the, that channel. Uh, I'm going back for some reason, purchase didn't show. Maybe there is not any purchase from organic search. I want them to put them in the same line. Now let's go to insert or not insert, to in shape. We can add a box here to add a title for our dashboard. I'm changing the background to, this is too blue, to this blue and add a text to that, insert, or I can see text here too. And GA4 demo dashboard. Now I'll go to the make it to the center, make the size bigger, change the color to white. And I want to bold, bold it. And if you have a logo, you can add a logo here by going to insert. Uh, must be a picture or something somewhere here. Here, there is an option image. You can upload an image here to your dashboard as a logo. This is a pretty simple dashboard that we created. You can, uh, if you add, want to add more data to your table, uh, to your page, and you are short of a space, you can change the size of your page here, page, current page settings. Uh, I'm going to style, by default it is 900, let's say I can increase it to 1500, 1500 pixels and it gives you more space to add more data. And you can show different tables in different pages. You can have multiple pages in your dashboard. Here it is only one page. If I go click on the page and add a new page, it takes me to a second page. I can create the second page of the dashboard. This is only page one. So before creating your dashboard, you first need to know what you want to show. That would make it easier for you to look at the metrics, to have metrics and dimensions prepared to show exactly what you want. Building a dashboard in Looker Studio is pretty clear, easy. In the setup, as you see here, it shows our data source that we want. If we are more working with multiple data source, we can blend data, add more data sources, and join tables from different data sources. We can also create some calculated fields in uh, Looker Studio. For example, if you want to add conversion rate or click-through rate, uh, you can go to your data here, add a field, add a calculated field and build your calculated field. You just give it a name and the formula here. For any metric that is calculated based on two other metrics, even if they are available in your data source in your GA4 or any other source, I always would recommend to create the calculated field yourself. You can also change the color of your page, the background color, by going to the theme and layouts, uh, change a specific theme for your, theme for your dashboard. Uh, for example, change to the color to gray if you like. 
Uh, in that case, you need to play around for with your table and metric to make them easy to read. This was a pretty simple dashboard that we created together. To, the purpose was to show you how you can connect your GA4 demo account to the Looker Studio Data dashboard and build a simple table and scorecards. You can add uh, more more kind of charts to your dashboard. For example, in the insert, let's say you can add a time series chart here by selecting different metrics, one in the uh, left bar, one in the left axis, one in the right axis, change your dimension and make uh, more visualizations.